Hello everybody, today I am going to explain how to solve the problem E, K periodic garland from the code for this rank 642 division 3. In this problem we are given a garland consisting of n lamps and we need to make it K periodic in the minimum number of moves. The definitions required to solve this problem are given in the statement and they are quite detailed. And I am going to move to the solution. The first observation one can do is that we can solve the problem separately for each uh, group of three characters such that the reminder at k is the same. Like, let me give you an example. If we have these strings 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, which has length 10, and k is equal to 3, we can solve the problem for this part positions 1, 4, 7, and 10. Then we can solve the problem for part 2, 2, 5, and 8. And then for the last part, 3, 6, 9. When we are going to solve the problem for one part, we must discard all the lamps which are open from the other two parts. So this is something uh, we must consider. Now let's see what happens for a certain part. I'm going to explain for the first part and the third part, since they are the most meaningful in my opinion. The first part looks like this, 1101. One, now I'm going to write the 0 as a minus 1, since uh, if we want to keep the full sequence lit, on, we need to turn on the zero and also do the prefix sum. So we are going to have one, two, one because this is a minus one, two. As you can see here, since the value of the prefix sum is always positive, it is optimal to turn on the lights which are closed. As you can see here, we turn on the light and the cost is going to be one, which is optimal. Now let's see what happens for this test case, 0, 1, 0. For the 0, 1, 0, the prefix sum array will look like that, minus 1, 0, minus 1. As you can see here, we have a prefix sum which is equal to minus 1. I'm going to show you that it is always optimal to discard what happens in the left part if the prefix sum up to that position is minus 1. Let's Assume we are going to do it. So we are going to discard this part and then keep the 1, 0. The string 1, 0 will have prefix sums equal to 1 and 0, as you can see. Now, since the prefix sum is equal to 0, we can either turn on all the lights which are off or turn off the lights which are on. Both options are optimal. So we can also discard uh, what happens here. By discarding what happens here, it means that we can turn off all the lights in that subsequence. So this leads us to the following uh, observation. If we have some sequence such that its prefix sum is equal to zero, we can always ignore that subsequence and turn off all the lights which are on. As I showed you here, it is always optimal, since it will not lead us to a bigger cost. And if the prefix sum is positive, we should always turn on the lights which are off. So this leads us to an algorithm which is similar to the maximum subarray sum, since as you already know or not, the maximum subarray sum works like this. Let's say we know the sum up to that position, A and the current element is x. Now we have two options. Either we add them up or keep just the x. So this is what we are going to do here, more or less. I'm going to move on to the implementation in order to explain what I did in more detail. As you can see here, I got accepted in 30 minutes since the start of the contest. And take also in mind that I have solved the problems up to d in this time. 
Now I'm reading the input and finding the number of the lights which are already turned on. Since one of the solution is always turning off all the lights which are on. I'm counting here, we're using a for loop. Now for each group of reminders from zero to K minus one, I'm iterating through the lights and if the character at that position is equal to one, we are going to increment the difference. Otherwise, we are going to decrement it. And also, if the difference is less or equal than zero, we are going to make it zero, as I said before. All we have to do now is to find the maximum value of the difference over all the position possible states and then this will be the final answer, the minimum of the total sum minus the difference up to some position, which is quite similar to the maximum separate sum, as I have already mentioned. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell button in order to be the first one to get notifications about the new videos. Also, you can join the Discord server by clicking the link in the description, where I host competitive programming content like mashups, virtual contests, and so on. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck, and goodbye.